Hey guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to create a custom thumbnail for your YouTube channel. This is one example that I've used in one of my vlogging channels and really wanted to show you how easy it is to customize and spruce up a photo. So if you're interested, stay tuned for more. So you want to go to pickmonkey.com. Next, you also want to start off by hitting that edit a photo button. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and select the photo that you want to create a thumbnail out of. Now I want to focus on cropping. So I'm going to select and crop the part of the picture that I want to use for my thumbnail. Now if you're happy with the picture, go ahead and keep everything in. There's no, no need to do this particular step. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and crop up some of the extras that I don't need. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and move to adding in the text, which is my main priority when I'm working with. So once you go into the text section, you want to go ahead and select the font type that meets kind of your criteria for your photo. So I'm going to go ahead and select the Chelsea Market, which automatically brings in a text box that can be applied to the photo. So you have the option of moving the text around. And once I've got my placement of where I'd like my text, I'm going to go ahead and kind of play with it and test it out a little bit. So I want to add in some verbiage here, which I'm putting vlog number two, YouTube obsessed. So the one thing you can do is start modifying the way the text looks. So this is the fun part. So right now what I'm doing is highlighting the text that I just entered in. And I want to go ahead and change up the size a little bit. So as you're watching the screen, you can see that I'm bringing over the text menu and I have a few options. So as you look, there is a bar where you can scroll that button to the left or right. And basically what I'm going to do is adjust the size. As I move to the left, it's smaller. When I move to the right, the font gets larger. So I'm going to get it to a point that's perfect for my thumbnail. So I'm setting it to size 103. Once I've done that, I'm using kind of that color palette. And all you need to do is drag that dot all over the menu until you see, or the, over the palette, until you get that perfect color that meets your preference. And for this thumbnail, I like to stay within the purple pink range. So I think I'm just about there and I've got my Font color. Now I want to work with the fading option. As you see here, as I scroll to the right, the text becomes pretty much non existent. And as I scroll to the right or left, you can see that you've got the, the rich text and color of your, your fonts. So basically, I just wanted to show you that there is additional features when you're working with text to kind of add that, that element that's perfect for you. Other item, I'm going to go ahead and center my text because I want it to be right in the perfect position. So I did yeah. center my text. So next you want to go ahead and check, click out of the, the text window. And let's just say I, I want to change my mind in terms of placement. All you need to do is just grab that text box again and drag it to the location that you want it in the picture. So don't feel like once you've got things set up and you've got your preferences all established that you can't move it. You certainly have a lot of flexibility here. So moving on is overlays. Overlays are so fun to use when you're doing these thumbnail photos. So I'm going to go ahead and include a graphic underneath my text. So I'm going to go ahead and select under the doodly heart section a graphic that I want to include. So as I ponder that, I'm going to go ahead and select, double click, and it will automatically bring that graphic to your picture. Otherwise, you can always drag and drop. So it looks like I accidentally <laughs> included two graphics. I'm going to remove the other one. But this is the heart that I'm going to use. Now I want to open up my, my color block and actually select a perfect color for this heart. So I'm going to go ahead and move forward with the purple heart. 
and work on my fading, which I have shown you in the text section of this video. The last thing I want to add is a frame around my photo. This just gives it a more spruced up look around the edging of the photo. So I selected the Polaroid frame and I think I'm going to go ahead and just select and stay with the, the corners that are currently shown here, but you do have additional options available. So on to the fun part, saving your thumbnail. There's a few quality options that are listed. You can see those descriptions below. I'm going to go ahead and proceed with using the Sean quality, which gives you the best quality photo that you can provide. But now keep in mind, the better the quality, the higher the file size. Now that I'm hitting, hitting the save to my computer button, you want to go ahead and wait and make sure things are processing. But before you do, make sure you go ahead and enter in a file name that is going to be easy for you to identify whether you save it to your desktop, to your My Documents, or to any other location that will store your thumbnail. So I'm going to go ahead and name it. I'm going to save this to my desktop so I can easily find it and access it. I'm going to change the photo of my channel intro. I can create a custom thumbnail using what we just put out there. We just created. I'm going to choose that. So as you can see here, you can select this thumbnail, hit the save, and then you're pretty much good to go. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like these kind of videos, definitely subscribe, like, and comment below. If not, I'll see you in the next one.